everyone welcome back to my channel and to another video this still feels so weird to be in this new setup it is really really bright which i think is a lot better than my last setup which was a little bit too dark but i am here today to test out some new makeup products that i have bought recently and also just do an easy no makeup makeup look because who wants to wear a massive full face makeup all the time especially in 2021 when we can't even go anywhere at the minute so i'm going to be testing out the nars pure radiance tinted moisturizer this is the first tinted moisturizer i've ever tried out so we're gonna see how that goes i do have quite red skin so we're gonna try and cover that up and see how this performs and whether i actually like the look of it so if you want to see my no makeup makeup look and to see the new products i'm testing out then just keep on watching okay so to start off with i'm obviously going to prime my skin with my elf poreless putty primer and we're just going to ensure that we fill in all those pores just because i know a tinted moisturizer is not really going to do a lot on my skin I do also want to say a massive thank you to everyone that has entered my giveaway. I am in the process of picking a winner for that and that will be announced on Sunday. But yeah, thank you very much. If you haven't entered already, I will link the video down below. All you have to do to enter is subscribe, like my video and comment below done when you have finished and you're automatically entered into my giveaway so yeah go and check that out i am giving away a morphe palette and some eyeshadow brushes so yeah if you don't want to miss out on that go check that out so now i'm going to go in with my Too faced born this way multi sculpting concealer and this is in the shade porcelain so we're just going to just because i know this redness is just going to peek through i do this with foundation as well so there is no point not doing it for a tinted moisturiser. Just to cover up some of that redness on my skin, which is super annoying and I wish it would just disappear. And then I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender just to blend that all into my skin. Okay, so that's just concealer on my skin. So now we're gonna go in with this NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. This is in the shade Finland Light One. I'm hoping it matches me, I have absolutely no idea. So I'm just gonna give it a good shake. And the description basically says it's full of um, like minerals that help to heal blemishes as well as being a tinted moisturizer and also have SPF 30 in it. So this could be the perfect look for summer. Obviously I would recommend also having an SPF on as well. I know SPF does cause like flash, like that white look when you do flash photography, but obviously in the summer that's not going to be such an issue because it's going to be lighter. I would recommend also wearing a SPF underneath this. So I'm just going to shake it just because I feel like that's what you should do with any product. And I'm just going to take a little bit on the back of my hand. And it's quite liquidy. Obviously, it is a moisturizer. Um, most of my moisturizers are quite like thick and heavy. So this feels a bit weird and it's also really cold. So I'm going to take my sponge again. I'm going to apply one side with a sponge and one side with my Smith 115 brush. Actually, I actually think I'm going to do this side first. Um, just because I want to see whether it creates a more natural look using a brush or whether it creates a better look using a sponge or whether both is like the best way to go. So I'm just going to take some on my brush. It's got a really nice like radiant glow which is lovely. It also isn't scented which is amazing because i usually think of like moisturizers and things like that always have like a scent to them i was expecting this to be the same so that is applied with the brush and i can't see any like brush strokes and i think it looks very dewy like this side looks so awake and just ready and this side looks a little bit like meh we're kind of here we're kind of not so i'm going to go in with my sponge now and see whether the other side looks better with a sponge obviously this side has a lot less redness i don't actually know why that is but it seems to be a lot less spotty than this side 
it just goes on so quickly because it is only a moisturizer so it doesn't need to be really blended like it blends into the skin and sinks down really nicely I actually still prefer this side I feel like this side still looks too heavy and I feel like if I go over this side with the sponge it will just look a bit heavy as well it feels like I'm wearing nothing but when I look in the camera it looks like I'm wearing foundation so this is what my skin is looking like I actually really really like how this is looking because I want that sort of natural look coming through I don't want my skin to look completely flat obviously I love a matte look and I love a full glam look but sometimes there are days especially when I'm going to work where I just want a quick easy five second it's on ready to go and just add a few other products to it I don't want anything where I'm having to blend it for ages I still have quite a bit left on my hands that's crazy a little bit goes quite a long way because obviously you don't need that full coverage and this is going to sound crazy, I'm going to leave my eyebrows as they are. I'm just going to brush them out with some clear gel. But I think I'm going to leave them the way they are. Because I feel like if I put a dip brow pomade on my eyebrows, I just look too much. So that is my skin. Just some concealer and tinted moisturiser on. And I just love the glow. It's such like a healthy, awake glow, which is amazing. I'm now going to go in with some cream contour because I feel like a no makeup makeup look is not complete without a cream contour but I'm only going to put a little bit on I don't want anything too heavy I feel like that might be a bit too heavy <laughs> and then I'm just going to blend it out with my sponge and also up the forehead just to bring some colour back to my cheeks that looks very harsh using the other side just to blend over that on the other side I think that's the only place I'm going to put some cream contour is just on my cheeks it just looks so good like I don't know why but it just looks so complete and just glowy so now I'm going to go in with some concealer just to brighten up my under eyes and this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla and this is just going to go under my eyes because it's it's quite a full coverage concealer and it's quite a thick concealer and I don't want my eyes to look too perfect if that makes sense like I don't want to look like I've got a million years sleep just because I've got loads of concealer on I don't want it to look really cakey and heavy under the eyes so I think one layer will be enough but this side looks so awake and just ready like this is also going to be like a 10 minute look because it is so simple there's not a lot of products to go into this so i'm now going to go in with my charlotte tilbury airbrush bronzer and i'm just going to take the tiniest amount of this and just sort of dab it here nothing too harsh but just to set that contour in place before we go in with anything else so that bronzer is just to set the cream contour in place and ensure that it doesn't move or slip around during the day. I don't want anything too harsh or any harsh lines. So we've just lightly set that. So we're now going to move on to our blush. So I bought a blush. I bought NARS Super Orgasm. And as a freebie, I got NARS Orgasm as like a mini tester. And I'm going to use NARS Orgasm today on my cheeks. This is what it looks like which is really really pretty it's quite pink and I feel like it's gonna just blush up my cheeks perfectly so I'm just gonna grab my blusher brush and obviously our skin is still like tacky and wet so I don't want to use too much and we're just going to tap that onto our cheeks that is gorgeous I've heard really good things about this and I've been wanting to try it for a while but it was out of stock so I was going to buy the big NARS orgasm but it was out of stock so I bought the super orgasm and then I got this one free anyway so I was like oh best of both worlds trying out both blushes just want to make sure this is nice and blushy and I know the weather is really grim at the minute but I am prepared for summer I don't know about anyone else so this is kind of what I'm doing today is my summer look because it's nice and blushy very rosy. Oh, see, I just, oh, it just looks so gorgeous. 
if I might say so myself. I'm so up myself at the minute. But I just think that looks so, so pretty. So the next product that I'm testing that's actually new is this. This is the Born This Way Turn Up The Light Highlighter Palette in the shade Light. This is the palette, like it's a chunky boy. And then if I open it up, this is what it looks like. So we've got Glow, Soft Focus and Dazzle. And these are gorgeous. So I'm gonna do a quick swatch for you guys. I don't know if you guys can see it. So that's Glow, Soft Focus and Dazzle, which is a really, like, more of a glittery highlighter than a normal highlighter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the shade Glow. I'm going to take a brush like this. And we're just going to highlight our cheeks. Tip of the nose. Like the usual places to highlight. But not going overboard with the highlight because it is still a no makeup makeup look i feel like soft focus is more one to go under the eyes because it's not actually shimmery soft glow is more like an ambient lighting powder a bit like the hourglass ambient lighting powder so we're just gonna highlight everything make everything look a bit dewier and more glowy so now i'm just going to press out any creases that have formed on my eyes and I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and a tiny bit of it on my damp beauty blender. And this is just going to set the under eye in place and also a little bit over here. Don't want anything too much, but just need to set everything in place because I am quite oily. So for my eyebrows, I'm going to be using Brow Friends Forever. This is a clear gel and I got this in one of my Birchbox subscription boxes and I actually really like how it grips onto my eyebrow hairs. So I'm just going to run that through my eyebrow and it creates a fuller looking eyebrow and ensures that my eyebrows aren't going to go anywhere. I do have some very long eyebrows. <laughs> Like so, like I haven't done too much to them. They're literally just now in place. So I like to make my eyes more of a focus for a no makeup makeup look. And to do that, I like to use an eyeliner and just create a really small wing, but it makes my eyelashes look a little bit fuller and nicer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom you guys in so you can see. And I'm just going to create a small wing so what I do is I draw up from here like so same on the other side so I kind of follow my lower lash line and flick up and then I just want a small wing so just draw straight down to the lash line and fill in that space so same on the other side just drawing straight down to the lash line I've made that one a bit thicker I struggle with eyeliner as well to make it even. Okay, so to fix this, I'm just going to take my concealer and just scrape off most of the excess. I'm just grabbing my Scott Barnes 59 brush, which is a thin angled brush. And I'm just going to coat that with some concealer, ensure there's not too much on there. And then I'm just going to run that along the bottom of my eyeliner on both sides and then the same on the top just to ensure that it's all neat and tidy done this side looks a lot thinner and i'm not too sure why i think it's just the way i've done it there we go that's better as always like your eyebrows your eyeliner cannot be twins so i'm going to zoom you back out again so i'm just going to do a light layer of mascara on my eyelashes just to intensify my eyes a little bit and the final step is a lip balm to go onto your lips and the lip balm just ensures that your lips are moisturized but you're not having to put a lipstick on because if you put a lipstick on with this look i feel like it will look very very heavy but yeah, I love all the products that I've tested today. This highlighter palette is really nice for like a more natural glow than a really high intense glam glow. The blush is gorgeous. It's not too heavy. And this tinted moisturizer feels amazing on my skin 
and it's given me a really nice amount of coverage considering I had like quite a lot of redness obviously I did go in with a bit of a concealer underneath but the only part that's really poking through is this one here which is very very red and sore but we're gonna ignore that one and pretend it's not even there but yeah I really like this so I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can have a look at my skin a bit more It just looks put together but not too intense. I really like this eye. This eye looks a little bit too droopy. This eye's really brought up. Sometimes I do eyeliner and it doesn't work either. But we are all learning. So I love how glowy and natural this looks. Okay everyone, so that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will link all the new products that I have tried out down below and all the products I have used in this video down below for you guys so you can go check it out. I will also link down below the video so that if you have not entered the giveaway already, you can go and check out that video. I explain everything in that of the prize and how to enter. So if you want to do that, go check that out. And if you have enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. Comment below any other videos you want to see me do, any other products you want to see me test. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my upcoming videos. I hope you guys are all safe and well and having a lovely day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.